European social what many consider to be a peaceful nation. He would like to see an adoption of old time set tenants that have served Barbados well. These are wonderful. Responding appropriately to different views. Four, replacement of the spirit of revenge with one of forgiveness and reconciliation. Five, the promotion of peace and harmony amongst God's people. Six, the obedience of rules needed for the maintenance of good order in the society. And seven, conduct which is pleasing to God. And Mr. Goddard says the committee does not share the view that links increased crime to a depressed economy. We assert that there must be other explanations for the gun violence, no presence here in the hearts of Barbadians. We see the need for a dispassionate examination of the issue with the aim of determining reasons for the kinds and scale of crimes we are experiencing. In this regard, we appeal to the private sector to fund a university of the West Indies study on the factors contributing to crime in Barbados. As part of the Anglican Church's commitment to tackling the problem of violence, the Commission on Advocacy and Social Justice will, in September, be launching a project on at-risk youth. A man who was shot last Friday night in Bottom Close Will de St. Michael and subsequently died has been identified as one of two men previously wanted by police. He is Kimar Whitfield Ronaldo Leacock, 26 years, alias Big Eyes. His last known address was 7th Avenue, New Orleans, St. Michael. Leacock was shot multiple times around half past seven. Reports indicate that he was found on the ground in an unconscious state. He was taken to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital by ambulance but died on Saturday. Well, getting youngsters off the streets and into agriculture. Tonight we hear about the mission of government's advisor on poverty who is making this a reality. As the hot summer sun beat down on the Pine Basin, a number of young persons were hard at work as the government's Youth in Agriculture program continued today. Advisor on Poverty Eradication and the Millennium Development Goals, Undine Whitaker, says although some of the youth are from so-called bad neighborhoods, the response has been exceptional. She believes that many issues faced by young people are related to a lack of guidance. This year we have had an excellent group of young people. I'm really pleased. That's why you know I wanted to show to Barbados that the young people can do well if they are given the encouragement and the environment in which they can work. And we provide that, as I say, we do mentoring skills, we do an orientation where they do a lot of work with... Ms. Whitaker went on to say that this year's group has been working diligently to cultivate high-quality produce. Tomatoes, lettuce, eggplant, sweet peppers, um, radish, cauli uh, cauliflower, a oh, fairly wide range. And we also have some markets that we work with every year, for example, Carlton and Avon Supermarket, popular great supermarket, they purchase from us the crops which we produce. As a matter of fact, we're going to be reaping on Wednesday. We have 600 heads of lettuce which we're going to be reaping. In addition, the program now includes rearing rabbits as well as an indoor plant nursery. And the participants shared their experience. It's interesting once you get to know what's going on and everything. And they learn a lot more than when they first started last year. Having our own produce and producing for ourselves, it will help us not have it to import from other countries all the time. And it will help us save money and stabilize our economy. And we also deporting goods to other countries to bring in more foreign exchange for us. From the time I was young, I always wanted to be into farming. So I have heard about this program and I decided to come and join and give it a try and so far I'm enjoying it a lot. Ms. Whitaker also stressed the importance of maintaining agriculture on the island which she says is key to eradicating poverty. As a result, farmers need to provide food to Barbadians at low costs. Meantime, Deputy Chief Agricultural Officer Charleston Lucas says using naturally grown byproducts can be substituted for feed. He says local livestock farmers need to take advantage of the wild plant. So if you can somehow formulate some rations using these, um, these, these materials that are local, we can actually reduce the cost. And that is the focus at which we are um, going in terms of uh, livestock production. How can we really reduce this um, cost of production? 
Anthony was speaking during a livestock presentation done by students from the University of McGill in Montreal at the Greenland Agricultural Station in St. Andrew. The students are on the island for a 14-week summer program called the Barbados Interdisciplinary Tropical Studies, where they learned all about livestock. Director of the BITS program for the University of McGill, Daniel Donnelly, says, for instance, students made yogurt from goat's milk. The idea was to try to um, produce a higher value item and um, some possibilities could have been yogurt or, uh, or cheese. Uh, the cheese turned out to be very challenging beyond the capacity of these students so they concentrated on the yogurt. More news in just a moment but first we want to get your take on this question. Should civil society get more involved in the search for solutions to the increase in gun violence? You can text yes or no to short code 8111 and we'll have the results for you at the end of our news. You've got a new friend when it comes to auto insurance. Introducing DrivePal from Sagico General. This groundbreaking new technology will help you save up to 35% on your car insurance depending on your driving habits. That's 35% in addition to the no claim discount and other available discounts such as multi-policy or multi-vehicle discounts. And because DrivePal is your friend, it's free and easy. Simply sign up for auto insurance from Sagicore General and our trained technicians will install DrivePal in your vehicle. Then start driving. DrivePal, powered by EasyTrack, will monitor your vehicle's speed and watch for harsh braking, cornering, and acceleration. As long as you stay within the designated measures, you'll continue to pay smaller motor premiums. DrivePal even has accident detection with a link to Sagico General's emergency SOS services, just in case. Now don't worry, we know you value your privacy. So information collected from DrivePal will only be used to help you save and nothing else. Pals stay in touch. DrivePal will send email updates, making it easy to track your progress. It will also post your driving habits and those of anyone else driving your car on a secure online personal dashboard for review. This allows anyone driving your car to improve their habits while helping you save more. Make a new friend. Switch to Sagicore General Auto Insurance, get DrivePal and start saving today. Sagicore General, wise financial thinking for life. Everything is our style. No camera can capture our magic. But when a cold hits, my head is somewhere else. I need that cold out. And life back in. When a cold keeps you away, reach for Panadol Multi-Symptoms. Clinically proven ingredients for a total response to help clear your physical symptoms. So I can be fully there for them. Panadol Multi-Symptoms. When the cold is gone, life takes its place. Barbados capital city should not be left out of the urban revitalization of the country. Given its importance, especially in the area of tourism, the president of the Barbados Town Planning Society, Dr. Yolanda Aline, says the city must be kept alive. And she made the remarks as she delivered the annual public lecture of the Urban Development Commission entitled A New Urban Agenda, A Barbadian Context. We need to pay some attention because we're, we are we are tourist oriented um, destination and wherever people go they want to see your capital they want to see your city so they have an, just an expectation that your city is somewhere vibrant and alive so it's something that we have to address dr aline says there are issues of urban blight in the historic city urban blight is what you call it when you go th walk through a city and you see a lot of unused and derelict buildings not being used, just, just taking up space, be, nobody's using them. It makes the city a very dead center. Our heritage properties are often underutilized. We have the Empire Theater and several others. We have the um, warehouses along Hink Street and along Bay Street that are not being used. Um, this, when it becomes a feature of your center, is not, is not helpful and it's not healthy. Calls continue to be made for Caribbean governments to invest more money in the University of the West Indies. Vice Chancellor Professor Sir Hilary Beckles says the UWI has systems in place to find solutions to systemic problems within the region. He fears, however, that if finances are not made available, the university's potential could go to waste. 
your university is primarily funded as an undergraduate teaching academy. We have said over the last 20, 30 years, UWI has to transition into being a high level research university. The Wadis Secondary Teachers Union is again sending out an early warning that teachers must be compensated if they correct school-based assessments. And President Marianne Redmond says Minister of Education Ronald Jones and officials from the Caribbean Examinations Council must have discussions with the respective unions about that issue. Ms. Redmond says teachers in Guyana have also decided not to to correct SBA's next school year. She says other Caribbean territories are expected to follow suit. The CXC SBA is paper three of CXC's exam. It is not an internal exam to the school, which would make it government's work. CXC, in proof of this, still pays people to second mark samples and to moderate those SBA samples. And it is only in fairly recent years that CXC stopped second marking all SBAs. So they are very aware of the fact that this is their exam, this is their work. Scores gathered at the St. Patrick Roman Catholic Cathedral over the weekend to celebrate Monsignor Vincent's 40th anniversary in the priesthood. A church service was held where tributes were paid for his accomplishments over the years. And he is the first black priest to be ordained in the Catholic Church here in Barbados. And while speaking at that service, Monsignor Vincent told the congregation of his journey to priesthood. I met the late Archbishop of Port of Spain, Archbishop Pante who spoke to me about the priesthood and the order he belonged to. So off I went to Trinidad to join the Holy Ghost Fathers until the new diocese of Bridgetown, was, Bridgetown Kingston was created and I was asked to be here. And that's how I come. Continue, I finished my philosophy and finished my theology, went off to Canada, came back, a few days and was made a priest. The Kingdom Arts got underway last Friday and continues throughout this week and this coming weekend. According to the organizers, the festival is now into its sixth year. A visual and performing arts event is scheduled for tonight at the Arrow Barrow Center for Creative Imagination. Marketing team leader Sabrina Greenwich revealed the remaining events for this week. On Thursday, we have our Kingdom Fashion. That's at Queen's Park Steel Shed. That's at 7 p.m. as well. On Friday, we have our culinary experience at Bagatelle Great Hall, 7 p.m. And on Saturday, we have the End with Glow Worship at New Dimensions Ministries, 7 p.m. Meantime, Festival Director Kerry Rice-Smith says the festival is hosted by Island Worship, a group of young people passionate for God who are called to pray for the arts and worship in Barbados. The arts belong to Jesus. God is the author of everything, you know. He's given us the creativity. So, you know, the festival really is to encourage artists to use your God-given ability to glorify God. Still to come, a look at some of the stories making headlines across the region. But first, a reminder that we want to hear from you on this question. Should civil society get more involved in the search for solutions to the increase in gun violence? Text yes. 